the early 70s, you know, bobwhite quail were, were still quite common in West Virginia. And, and then we had the winter of 1977. We had snow on the ground the entire winter. It just almost extinguished our bobwhite quail. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to reestablish bobwhite quail in West Virginia. Now we're doing, we're, we're doing some stockings, you know, on wild birds that we've been able to get, but in areas where we do not have any wild quail at all, none. We're, we're trying something that is a release of 10 week old birds. This will be an opportunity for us to try to create some, some natural regeneration from these stock birds to get that population back. This was an idea generated by, by Governor Justice. He has an extreme interest in the Upland Bird Program. He'd like to see multiple varieties of birds and this is one of the first ones that we've looked at. We've developed with our wildlife resources section uh, focal management areas in four parts of the state. The others where we didn't experience lots of coveys, we decided to, to stock some birds in it and this is the, 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 the fruit of what we're, we're doing now. So we're finally getting to see these birds on the ground. Over 20,000 birds total will be stocked at seven different state, state areas. Six wildlife management areas and one state forest. The enclosure is, is called a refugia and it's got the wooden platform in it so that the, the birds in the box can be put under it out of the sun. It gives them a little, uh, gives them some cover under there and then the fence around it to, to uh, keep some of the, the bigger predators from being able to get into it. So we're going to open it up, cut a little hole in the crate that the birds are in, place the block of ice in front of it. Uh, the idea is then that they can, as the ice melts, they can come out on their own and then we'll scatter seed in and around the refugia to give them kind of a head start to be able to feed. Uh, these fields with the thick tree line edges, which is good for the quail to be able to, you know, they're a grassland bird. The edges provide um, escape cover for them to be able to get away from predators. That's a familiar sound that we heard a lot in the spring or early summer years and years ago. I've always enjoyed being outdoors with a, you know, English setter bird dog or a bird dog, you know, and, and trying to find a covey of quail and everything. And, and, uh, and it, was, it was easy to do growing up. But, uh, but we're, we're in the process of trying to, to release a thousand coveys this year. Coveys of 25 birds per covey. And, uh, and so if we can get that done, you know, and then follow it up in the years to come for just a little while, it, uh, it may really pay big dividends and it, we will at least be able to hear that, that beautiful sound in the spring that I led off with.